Denmark is very successful with its Energiewende and has set up some remarkable goals. For instance, it aims an energy mix of 100% renewables until 2050. What else is fueling the greening of the energy sector in your country? Well, I think we have a clear plan for how to actually achieve the 100% and we have sub-targets sub for like 40% in 2020 and uh, how to outface uh, oil and coal and to, ch to transfer to, to biomass, wind and solar energy. Denmark has a lot of wind, of course, and it's the country's renewable energy number one. But which role does energy efficiency play in Denmark's energy policy? Uh, in the in the agreement that was made in Parliament, actually 40% of our transition is uh, a more efficient energy sector. So every time we use energy, we should try to use less. It's in the building sector where a renovation of, our, of the houses should be carried out uh, in the next uh, decades to come. It's in, uh, in transport, use smaller cars, go more together. It's in, in uh, industry where also a taxation on energy means that you're looking for the energy consumption and, and trying to reduce it all the time. So there's uh, different ways of, of, of changing it. Um, looking at the Energiewende, so to say, in Denmark and partly also in Germany, how would you imagine the European Energiewende to become successful? Well, I think it's important that the countries that want a transition stand together and work together. Um, specifically uh, setting targets for 2030, ambitious targets, but also to make the uh, emission trading system work. I mean, with the low CO2 price that we have currently, it doesn't work. So we have to take out some to get the price up higher and, and uh, to, to make that system work again. What are your propositions regarding a new market design for the European energy market? Well, I think it's uh, the, the closer we get to, to the same prices in the European countries, the, the easier. Uh, the, the also the political side of, of the transition will be because uh, to see that a, a larger subsidy is made in one country than the neighboring country when we trade energy is, is very difficult. So I think some kind of, of uniform price levels will be be uh, ad advantages for for the for the transition. Looking at the Energiewende in Germany and in Denmark, how would you imagine a European Energiewende to come true? I, I think it'll be a mixture for for some time to come. Still, I mean, in in Denmark we we work together closely together with the Nordic countries. We have a Nordic energy market and Nordic energy prices that are the joint prices between the Scandinavian and the Baltic countries called Nordpool, and probably that could be achieved something similar in other regions and then little by little built together. It, that I think that might be easier than going the whole bureaucratic way of agreeing between 27 countries. Just starting in a corner and making it grow.